Hey, so in this video I show you how to make a cooked salami at home. Uh, as you probably have heard by the name, it's not a cured or raw uh, sausage. It is a cooked or poached sausage depending on where you fill it to, but we will uh, discuss that later. Uh, first on the meat side, we need some lean pork, lean beef and pork back fat. And on the spice side, we need some salt and cure pepper, cumin, mace, and garlic. And yeah, that's it. First, as always, we need to cut the meat into strips or cubes. Make sure they fit your meat grinder later on. Otherwise, pretty easy task. And because I get a lot of questions about uh, if you need to add the spices before or after the grinding, this one is before. Mix together the spices and add them to the meat. As for my testings, I never really found a huge difference in putting the spices in uh, before the grinding process. So do it however you like, but make sure it's evenly distributed, mix it well before and after doesn't matter, but make sure it's evenly incorporated. For the grinding, I'm using the smallest perforated disc. Um, if you want to make a coarser sausage, this will of course also work. However, for this type of sausage, the cooked salami, I enjoy having it a bit finer. However, I will only grind it through once because I don't want it too fine. Um, again, completely up to your taste. Just try out what works best for you and what you like most. Once the meat is ground through, you need to mix it together. Make sure it has a nice binding. And then it's ready to fill. For the filling, you can now either use a jar and uh, preserve it and cook it, or you could uh, use any artificial casing. Traditionally, uh, you would use a bigger diameter. However, yeah, I only had this and it also works. Just make sure it is a casing where you can poach it later on in water. For the filling, make sure there are no air bubbles trapped inside and then tie a knot and close the sausage. And now you can poach it at around 70, 80 Celsius, which is around 172 Fahrenheit. Uh, poach it uh, for around 30 minutes. If you have a diameter up to 30, if you have a bigger diameter, like 55 millimeters, then poach it for 55 minutes and then the sausage will be done. Okay, here it is. As you can see, looks beautiful, nice color. Also the structure, as I said, it's not super fine. However, it's also not coarse. Um, you have these uh, smaller chunks, um, but in total, yeah, nice binding. And I would say, let's give it a taste test. You can slice it thin or thicker like I did and put it on a bread with some butter. Wow, what should I say? I mean, it's pretty special because of the cumin. However, it tastes yeah, super rich, even though there are not so many spices in. Yeah, it's definitely not a cured salami or raw salami, but I don't think it even needs to compete with it. It tastes good on its own. Yeah, try it out if you want. The full recipe is below. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There are weekly sausage videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.